Wow, look at this beautiful view, just amazing. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. There was quite much supportive feedback on the first video which I made in English and I thought I could regularly make these kind of videos also in English for who are not native Finnish speakers and would like to see more concept in, in, in English. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm heading to tea box of Sanki course here in Oulu and uh, this morning I thought to start a round from the back tees. I have never broken 80 from back tees on this course and I thought I could try to do that this morning and uh, let's see how it goes. This kind of views gives me real chills. Look at these views. This is something I can't describe. You just need to experience these kind of mornings. Ducks in that pond and... Wow! Oh my god! So beautiful! I let old lady pass me by and we chatted a little about this beautiful morning and how these morning rounds are mostly the best ones which you are playing in this light and everything this is just maybe the best thing in the golf these beautiful beautiful moments in the morning 111 meters to flag maybe I have to use pitching wedge as that ball is kind of floating on that rough and if I use 50 degrees it goes all only below that ball and uh, kind of flushes it and it doesn't go anywhere so pitching wedge and uh, I take low grip a little left of the flag and that's good Nice. Kind of perfect. Looks like it breaks a little to left. That's the line. Oh yeah, yeah. Bogey start. That's okay. It's just morning rust, which I have in my <laughs> engine. Okay, of of course it hurts. That kind to miss that kind of part, but well, that's the score. Really good fade, just like planned. On this hole you have chance to uh, drive the green also on this hole. Like on the first one also there was possibility to drive the green, but here you have to get ball over the water, which is uh, something like 190 meters from back from back tees and to green it is 260 so that this is really kind of risk and reward hole but like I have mentioned earlier I like to play kind of conservative golf no big risks and uh, kind of try to play safe par 109 meters to flag and in the center of green. Let's see. But now, okay, it's again floating on that rough, so I, I take the pitching wedge. Yeah, 
that's the line. A little downslope, just come into your shot. Looks good. Stay. Stop. Yes, downslope and uh, a little left to right, maybe one, one and a half degrees. That's the line. Commit to your shot. Just trust your gut feelings. No, not bad, but... That was really good birdie chance, but not this time, not this time. Half five, 503 meters to green. This is hole where you can get ball on the green with two. But this morning my body is a little bit stiff, so I'm just trying to get my ball in play. Big fade, but ball is in play now. Yeah. Yes, it's running. Well, I think this is quite perfect distance for my 9-iron in this morning. My body is still a little bit stiff. Just commit to your shot. Should be good. It's perfect. Bird. And you know what? <laughs> On this hole, there is kind of a sponsorship from, from a golf company called Golf Plus. And that company is giving kind of uh, prizes for players who are making birdie on that hole number three. So I have made already two birdies on that hole and now this was my third one. And on every birdie you get uh, chili sauce called Texas peat. And uh, I don't know how much I need that sauce. <laughs> Maybe quite much. It is really good one. If you can find that sauce from anywhere where you are living, you have to try it. It is really good chili sauce. Not too hot, but uh, it's tasty. Part three, 134 meters to flag. And uh, there is water between the hole and the tee box. So um, I need to carry 112 meters to get over that water. And um, I took my nine, uh, eight iron and uh, I'm thinking that if I get behind the flag, it's okay. If I get front of green, it's okay. But I won't get short with this 8 iron, so this should be quite perfect for this hole. Okay, now the line, it's there. And then just commit to your line and make the good swing. Yeah, it's on green. <laughs> Did you see that? Birdie? <laughs> what a putt. What a putt. It's in the hole. <laughs> this really feels like crazy morning. Highest drive of the day and short one. This is now par 5 for me and uh, my goal is to make bogey for this hole. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it's uh, 140 meters to 100 meters mark 
So my goal is to get my ball to 100 meters and uh, from there to green. So or if I get ball to 100 and uh, I mean if I get my ball to 75 meters from the flag that is kind of perfect distance to approach with my uh, 58 degrees wedge and um, that's where I would love to be after this second shot and then I give myself chance for par also so let's just get this ball to 75 meters I like that you know what my watch says that it is exactly 75 meters to center of green and the flag is in the middle of green in the center of green so it should be 75 yes exactly 75 meters not bad at all really good layup and now i have again a space behind the flag and also space in front of flag so down it was long yeah it was it was something like 80 meters in air little right to left and downhill that's the line commit to your shot just let it roll trust your gut feeling let it roll not bad at all like I said earlier I'm really happy about bulky on this hole pace was really good on that putt but line was a little bit left so but it wasn't bad at all not bad at all okay next one is again par 3 and this is long one let's see where the flag is flag is in front of green so it is something like uh, 170 meters maybe it's 166 this morning to flag and uh, we are going a little bit uphill so I need to take at least one club more to this distance so I took my four iron let's see where it goes it should be quite okay I'm feeling a little bit wind coming from the green so now again remember commit to your shot that's the line and let it go it was a little fat chunky or whatever it is called yes it's on the green but now i'm not happy with that <laughs> although i have been quite happy with all shots earlier on this morning that was not good one that was really bad cheap shot but that is quite much what i have done with with my short game and of course i have now really nice trace on that morning dew on the green so i i know how this green bends and uh, hole like on the hole number four you have always chance never give up you can never give up in golf you can make hole in one you can make eagle you can make albatross everything is possible in golf Well, well, it's quite okay. Yes. I'm feeling now that this is not the morning I'm attacking or playing aggressively this hole. Yes.
yeah it happened again that smooth swing and your ball flies much longer than with hard swing straight Although I felt I smashed that drive, it was only 213 meters. Maybe it is this cold morning which takes the distance away from the ball. Distance to flag is now 168 and 147 due to that uh, bunker's back wall. So I have to carry 150 flag is 167 and uh, back edge of green is something like 185 183 so and wind is blowing against me from the green I quite much picked it perfectly from grass and uh, I don't know where the ball is it's maybe in bunker or then it is on green. Let's see. Yes, it's in the bunker and this sand feels really, really hard. So I'm not quite sure now how I will swing this ball out of the bunker. Will I blast it out? If I'm doing the normal sand shot, then my club, head, club bounces to ball and then ball is, I think I will blast it. That's the way it goes. Ooh. Okay, now we are on the last hole of the front nine. And uh, I haven't said a word about my score yet. You know what? I don't like to follow the score during the round. That's just mental thing. Like in the competition, you should never check the scoreboard during the, your competition. So that doesn't affect your thinking then and uh, affect your game plan. When you have made your game plan, you, have, you should always stick to that, whatever the situation is in the competition. Of course, on the last holes, it would be nice to know if you are in the lead by two shots or you are hunting the leader by one shot. So if you want to win, you can play more aggressively the last hole. So last hole of the front nine. And uh, I think it, I've done quite well. It's something like plus one, plus two at the moment. Yeah, should be found. Okay, that kind of second part when it is Let's measure one, two, three, four, maybe five feet. The percentage is on professional tours from that kind of distance is, uh, I think it is below 80% success rate for that kind of pot. So I'm really happy I made par after that first week but okay front nine is now done and let's see what my watch says score is 38 strokes front nine quite good yes 
Now the second breakfast is done and time to move on to the 10th hole. Yes, it's in play. It seems it's kind of theme for this morning's round. I have again these pine tree branches in my play. There is really high risk that uh, I hit those branches if I try hit straight shot. Another option is to try to keep ball low. Distance is 124 to front of green. But yes, I think I'm going with that low one. It's on green, I hope. Maybe I that was a little bit too long. I don't know, maybe. It carried something like 100 meters, but that first jump was quite long. And it ended on the green, and then it started rolling, so... It might be that it is behind the green now. No, it was straight. It didn't turn at all. Well, bogey. Yes, it's in play. Big fade. 186 meters to 100 mark. That ball is in quite deep rough and it may come out a little hot or flyer like. So it's against wind, so it will fly quite nicely through wind and uh, Leftmost pine tree behind that fairway, that's my line. Perfect. Yes, that's good, that's good. In bunker. I had to speed up my play a little bit and I didn't shoot those uh, two shots. Yes, I made par. Bunker save. First shot out of bunker and uh, one point something like one meter from flag. And uh, easy par. Okay, now there is huge fairway bunker. Healy fade. Oh, uh, yes, it's in rough, not in bunker. No, I'm in bunker. No, 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 no. I don't know what happened there. It wasn't, it, it wasn't confident shot. I don't know, was I scared that uh, I hit my ball? It, I hit ball too far. Well, it's not draw, not fade, but it's dead straight. Long par 3, 183 meters, something like 200 yards. This is beautiful. In the evening light, this is even more beautiful when sun is coming directly behind those trees, which are behind the green. This is such a beauty. Last time when I made video in English, I forgot to mention that I have driver giveaway announced on Valentine's Day that when my channel reaches 1000 subscribers I will do giveaway and this is not only for Finnish followers and subscribers this is 
for everyone. So I don't care where you are from, I will deliver that driver to you. We are lacking only 285 or 83 subscribers at the moment, so it's not far away. Just click that subscribe button if you haven't already done that. Yeah, thank you. I smashed it. Yes, it's on green. I'm really happy. I'm really happy about that. And after this hole, we will check the scorecard, how it looks like at the moment. I think I'm still uh, on the way under 80 score. Okay, this pin location looks really interesting. From here, it starts to slope really fast toward the camera. And uh, I think it is quite fast if the ball goes behind the pin, but this feels like this is quite straight. Wow. <laughs> wow, another long putt, almost dunked in. I'm really, really, really enjoying that one. This is difficult par three hole because this is long and uh, and I haven't done that many pars this year on this hole. It's been mostly bogeys and double bogeys and uh, I think it's zero birdies, but that was close. A little bit slower putt and it would have been in. Okay, now it's time to check the scorecard. Last hole, hole number 17, was par. And uh, I'm now six over par. So if I make par, it's 78. If I make bogey, it's 79. If I make double bogey, it's 80. So our goal is now to make bogey. Let's play. It's big fade. It's in the play. You know what? I'm taking iron five and I'm going for the entrance of green. That's the spot. Go, 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 go! It's huge left, right and uphill. I need to aim somewhere here. This really ain't the easiest one. This really ain't the place I want it to be. It's straight, just let it roll. You know, 79 strokes, first one ever for me on the Sanki course, breaking 80 from back tees. If you liked the video, press that like button and subscribe button and whatever you want, comment the video and let's see you on the next video. See you.